Hey guys, you join me here, Snowman86, and we are back on the Nullcast. So, a bit of exciting news, guys. We are into July, which is harvest season. We look out across our lovely crops here, and we'll see. Oh, we have a deer roaming in our yard. Um, but if we look out across there, we'll see the wheat and the oats are more or less ready to go. On this side, our canola is uh, still going. So, we still have a flower on it. So, another couple of weeks into that one before we were going and obviously our soybeans are a good bit away greenhouse still producing our strawberries quite happy with that you might have noticed here on the ground as well guys um we managed to get a couple of beehives going so we now have a honey area so we just drop off the honey here we already have a pallet of it sitting there so that is excellent um we're just going to quickly approach the chickens as well guys some might have already noticed something so we do have another pallet of eggs going we did sell some eggs and we have 121 chickens so they are producing quite well every six months we get another blast of them um, and the fact we're up to 121 I think the next time they all produce will more or less double that number um, so we should be should be rolling with eggs here shortly um, and now onto the big big news guys you see it sitting there in front of us it is a new header yes it's green you may be wondering what it's going to be attaching to and we are all going to find out here soon it managed to come up in a sale uh, mid june i think it was a two year old harvester with 42 percent knocked off its top price condition so we couldn't say no to it we picked it up for 313,000 and here it is so wasn't expecting to be buying something this big straight away but we have managed to get ourselves a more or less brand new john deere x9 so it's, it's got a few hours on the clock um as i say it is two seasons old so we'll have to see how we get on with it but for now we're going to roll the ford t-dub down here to the bottom of the bins um, we're going to place our header down there and we are going to get rolling we are going to get rolling into our wheat and see how we go now one thing i might have overlooked when i did purchase this was um yeah the size of our trailer so now that we're running a massive header and a massive combine I reckon one trailer won't empty the combine fully before we have to um, uh, before we have to fill up so we'll probably be doing multiple empties to get the combine empty uh, into our small trailer I think its capacity is around it might be one load to a trailer we'll have to see how we're going but for now we're just going to jump into our new harvester guys might even only be a season old it's only got 6.7 hours up on the clock so as i say new to us but second hand and as i say we paid a pretty penny and um, now we did have to splash out on the header and the trailer that was a combined of about maybe 110,000. so all in i think we've spent the bones of about 430 um, but the good news is we got a fantastic deal on our old combine we were able to sell a lot of it sell a lot of it sell it for a handsome price so just going to get it unfolding look at that what a thing of beauty so we're just now going to roll our tractor out of the way with the uh, header the header trailer even oh clippity clip and we are quickly going to run up grab our trailer so we're pretty close and ready to go close to hand um, So 
Obviously, New Harvester is going to raise a couple of issues for us. One being, we don't actually have any death on the yard, the farm. Um, not sure how I messed that up, but I missed that by a country mile. A bit better. So we don't have any um, yeah, death tank on the yard, we only store diesel, so it's something we're going to have to look into during the summer months. Might have to take a run to our local dealer, pick up some death and see how it goes. But we'll see what we're burning, how much we're doing. But um, yeah, it is a great deal. Also, you might notice our money is quite high still. So as you say, we were able to sell our harvest. I think we got about 160 back on it. So that offset the the cost of the new one and then we were able to sell our soybeans for an impressive 300,000 which I was not expecting and we still have a little bit in the, in the capacity uh, in our storage area I can't speak I'm just so excited and she's doing her own thing there Ooh, hear that so that is impressive so what we are going to do, we're just going to set a few things up here, get our cruise speed down to a nice 12 miles an hour. We won't be doing that. And ease off the brakes, drop it in. And we are away guys. And wheat harvest has begun, so we're not going to throw down too much of a swath, will we? Should we do a bit of baling? Hmm, I'm not sure. I love it. So as I say, we're going to work on the wheat first. Um, that our chickens are producing, kind of doubling every six to eight months, means that um, yeah, we're going to be under pressure soon for the wheat. So timing is everything is essential. So the wheat harvest is underway. So we might sell a little bit of the wheat, but it won't be till um, towards the end of the season. Such a big header, I can't even see the outside width of it. And we are filling up quite fast, being the extra big header and everything won't take us long at all to reach max capacity in this beast. So And you can see we are also, as I said, running the new dust animation. So actually if I go back outside, you should be able to see it here that we're going to be kicking up a nice bit of dust. Look at that. So I might even actually, you know, we're going to miss some crap. We don't want to be doing that either. Look at the dust. Oh, that is sweet. So that really adds to the game. And I think actually if I put up the help menu and quickly do the scale it back down to one. This is what the base game throws out. And by just simply doubling it using the factor, this is now the dust we're throwing out. And that is, to me, a little bit more realistic. So we're going to run it like that. Just gotta pay attention here as we get to our joint where we're going from wheat to oats. We don't wanna cross over, but the oats are also ready to go. So we'll be once we finish up wheat, we'll be cleaning up the harvester and going straight on to uh, the oats. Oh, 
Oh, hitting the wrong button. I might have done a little bit of damage there to the oats. Not ideal. Oh, we are already at 78%. So we're not even going to get down here with this and we are going to be full as I say I think it's kind of one hopper should fill our tractor trailer so we are yielding rather well which is it's nice to see So our harvest shouldn't take as long as it did in the previous one. Um, oh. Hit the brakes, hit the brakes. What are we doing? Mistakes like that. Disappointed in myself. Just so excited with the new harvester. We're going to stick our auger out and we're going to run back for the tractor guys. Do an unload and we'll just keep going round and round and see what we get but 16,200 liters is a hopper our trailer holds I think it's 18,000 liters so yeah we won't be long filling up each time so we might be able to just park here on the corner somewhere handy And as I see, we are going to run down for our tractor trailer. And I will see you in a second. So we're after collecting our tractor trailer and we're heading back up. And the dust mod should also now work for this. So you see behind the trailer, we're throwing out a bit more dust than we normally would be. And you can even see the exhaust. I think the exhaust one is working naturally. I must double check that one. I'm not 100% sure on it. There's our beehive to our left. Just sitting there between the canola and the wheat. But um, so far, we are yielding a lot. We've only done a little bit of the field. We're going to throw on the park brake here because it's literally going to be every time we un we fail, we're going to be unloading. So hit our button and we're unloading. So the yield looks quite good so far. So we're going to be happy with that, guys. And um, yeah, we're just going to keep pressing on here. As I say, we got to get the wheat in. And we got to get the oats in. We also have a new field of sorghum to get in. We have the canola, which will be ripening soon. So it's all ahead of us. So it didn't take long at all to fill that trailer, guys. So something we're going to have to look at is uh, we're in the wrong gear. one in there but um, yeah so far so good liking what we're seeing uh, we must do one thing here actually now before I forget which is this and try and set a GPS line here mm, not bad not great we kick it a bit mm. We'll chance it on. We'll see what happens. Oh, I think I want to be doing kind of 170. That's 169. That's no good to God, no man. 170. I'm sure that's the angle we we uh, planted at. And 
just looking at my audio levels we might just drop down just a little bit so you can hear me and next around this big field will be one big field of canola as well so we have that to look forward to As I say, we're still on the lookout for a cheap um, second-hand tractor. If we quickly bring up the used page of our dealership, you can see we do have a baler, but not that keen. We're not baling at the moment. We might bale the oats. We'll see. But uh, as for the wheat, I don't think we will. But um, we'll see if there's anything decent in terms of balers. We might try and pick one up. But as I say, our main goal now that we have a big harvester, this harvester should see us through. I don't see a need for us to be selling this and picking up another one. So I think we're done in terms of harvesting. This should see the farm out for a long, long time. So realistically, what we'll probably be looking for will be, um, as I say, a bigger tractor, obviously, to do a bit more groundwork, field work, make life easier. Poor T Dub does struggle on pulling up certain hills be under pressure so we might look at leaving that Actually, we might just go back here now oh, oh not used to the big head hopefully I can make it back up here in one whip but I'm not sure we'll see okay yeah this is a dream And for a second hand machine still pretty clean so we're pretty happy and excited with it but as I say wheat harvest is upon us guys we are flat to the board now start of July so the more we can get done here the better we have we do have a drop of rain coming today at some stage let me check the weather app and probably going to end up killing crops it's not till later on this evening around three o'clock so not too bad we should be should be a nice bit through our wheat harvest hopefully and as i say we'll be turning our attention straight to the oats after that so our yield is a little bit patchy it's kind of it's not bad we're yielding close to 100 percent and the potential but um certain areas you see the yellow there which is probably dropping it down to 70 75 um nothing in the orange though which is a good thing because we had plenty of orange last time around so we're just gonna have to see how we go and again we're running pretty close to filling here don't think we're going to get to the end of the field so gonna have to do this I think cut our way out and again we did not make that so we're gonna try and do a quick pirouette in the field set up here somewhere and we should be able to unload from there So guys, that has not taken long at all to get um, a full trailer and a bit more. Um, but we've nearly, like that is one pass there is what we've cleaned. That is such a large amount of ground. So we're going to jump in here guys, unload, come back, load up. And we're going to just rinse and repeat, pack and break. So this is us for the next bit of time guys, as I say we're early July, we're going to see can we beat the rain, we're going to keep harvesting. 
Um, as I say, busy time on the farm now, and we've lot. We're excited. We've lot to look forward to. Still have a nice bit of money in the bank, so hopefully, if a nice second-hand tractor comes along, um, we will pick it up. As I say, it won't be that fussy, and we might even look at maybe remodeling the yard a bit. Seeing can we add a bit more storage because if we are going to be picking up extra bits of gear, again, storage is going to be one thing. Uh, little things like trailers um, maybe even a, some some part of some form of cultivation or plowing we might need in time so we've all that to look at we'll see what we can pick up For now, it's going to be a lot of driving farms and back guys, so I don't think I'm going to bore you too much with it. But um, we will press on with harvest. If you do want to see more harvest, let me know, and we will do our best. But in the meantime, we are going to crack on with the wheat definitely, try and knock it out. And um, also, if you want to see a bit of baling, let me know because we can leave the straw from the oats on the ground. But, uh, as I say for now we're just pushing on trying to get it in before the rain that's coming it's only a shower I think but it might be enough to stop us for the evening depends on the moisture levels the crops reach but yeah that is it in its glory guys we have a beautiful new um, harvester and we are delighted we were able to get it on sale wasn't expecting as i say something as quite large and big as this she's so large i can't even fit in there we have to go all the way around sorry about that nearly walk through the, the bonnet of my tractor so we're just going to unload again and fill up but um, yeah wasn't expecting something quite so large and grand to begin with so the fact we were able to get it on a sale is fantastic and as I say, I think this is really a sign that things are moving in the right direction for us. So here's hoping we can keep that going. Just fill the back of the trailer a little bit. Yeah, we're going to be doing a lot of driving here, so we'll see. We might get lucky during harvest, something might crop up. Um, maybe even a truck and trailer maybe might be something we need in the near future um, every possibility that might naturally be a bad way to go with life either truck and trailer because at least it would enable us to um, sell our grains quickly we wouldn't have to use um, contracting services like we had to do to soybeans And again, it would enable us to save just a bit of money, which is what it's all about. So clearly our GPS line from day one was a little bit off, so we'll swing around, get that little bit that we missed. And we're going to head back down by the bins after that and work our way up the field. Um, see how much we get from that. So for now guys, we're going to leave it here. Um, I've been Snow 86 as always. This has been Denulka. And um, again, thanks for watching guys and all the support and stuff. And if you like what you've seen, be sure to hit that like button, that subscribe button. It means a lot. And uh, until next time guys, enjoy it and take care of yourselves. See you all again.